What's this Ricky Mathis chump anyway? I don't know, but his fans sure seem to like him. He can't keep his lame pretty boy single on the shelf. at the same time, we'll totally stretch it out. No, Clover, I meant, aren't I your best friend too? Aww. Well, of course you are, silly. And that's why I'm gonna borrow your leopard print sandals tomorrow. <gasps> Clover, what is it? What's wrong? Yeah, what's with all the drool? I think, I think, I'm in love. Must find out who he is. Hi, I'm Clover. Is it me, or does Clover fall in love more often than Mandy maxes out her credit card? What do you say we go out after school? I'll even let you buy me a non-fat latte. You will? Okay. Sorry, Clover! <gasps> Damon's already got plans after school. He's going to the mall with yours truly. Oh yeah, that's right. Ma. Well, no big deal. I was only trying to do him a favor because he's new around here. Hmm. Clover! Don't worry, Clover. I'll buy you a non-fat latte after school. Besides, wouldn't you rather hang out with us than some dim-witted musician? Yeah, I guess so. I just can't help liking Damon. Call me crazy, but I just have this thing for musicians. I've got to find a way to get his attention off of Mandy and onto me. to drop in. Nice for some of us. Ricky Mathis? Never heard of him. And that's because he's an overnight musical sensation. In fact, as of today, he's only released one single, the optimistically titled Rock Legend. Which makes it even more unsettling that there have been reports of similar occurrences all around the globe. Something's up, we're just not sure what. So, where do we fit in? Your mission is to go undercover as the opening act on his world tour and find out exactly what it is about Ricky Mathis that makes his fans so... fanatical. You mean, we get to be in a real band? A real pretend one. This is so perfect! When Damon finds out, he'll toss Mandy like a day-old muffin and come running straight to me. He'll see me as his musical equal. I'll be irresistible! Now, all we need is a name. Actually, ladies, we've already taken care of your name. We're called the Spies? That is so lame. Yeah, totally unimaginative. It was my idea. Oh! <laughs> hey, look at these cool instruments. Now isn't the best time for you to <laughs> practice. Now, where were we? The drop is ready, sir. Oh, yes, the gear. This week you'll be utilizing the expandable cable bungee belt, the wind tunnel 3000 tornado blast hairdryer, the suction cup bottomed go go boot, the ultra sensitive eerie microphone, and my personal favorite, a potty. A whaty? No, no, not up whaty. Up whaty. Underwater power walking apparatus that's inconspicuous. Now, goodbye and good luck, ladies. Or as they say in showbiz, break a leg. This is popular. Wow. Wow. I can't wait to tell Damon about this. He'll be so impressed with me. Is that all she thinks about? Hello? Hi, Damon. It's Clover. Just that I called to see 
see what's happening stateside. I don't know what's going on stateside, but I'm hanging out at the mall. So what's up with you, Clover? Oh, oh the usual. <laughs> the band, the spies, is touring with Ricky Mathis. We're just hanging out at our extravagant and glamorous hotel in London right now. Whoa, you're on tour with Ricky Mathis? I had no idea you were even in a band. Oh, yeah. I'm quite an accomplished guitarist. <laughs> Wow, awesome. Hey, like maybe when you get back, we can get together and, you know, jam or something. I could probably squeeze you in next week. I'll let you know. Bye. You must be the spies. Spies? That's ridiculous. Who told you we were spies? Yes, that's us, the spies. We rock. Well, I am Phil Jenkins, the tour manager. Ricky's very anxious to meet you. What do you say we head up to the penthouse? Great song. Thanks. I just wrote it. We're scheduled to record Ricky's new song tomorrow morning. I'm sure it's going to be his next big hit. We're sure it will be, too. We're thrilled to be touring with such great musical talent. The feeling's mutual. I just adore your early work. We have early work? Hey, you guys should come to the recording studio and hang out. It'll be a blast. Uh, sorry, Ricky. Your recording sessions are strictly off limits. This sounds like fun. We'd love to go. Great. Uh, okay, everybody. We don't want to keep those hungry fans waiting. Oopsie. Hmm. That's weird. Since when do CDs glow? So, besides the fact that he has totally crazed fans and glowing CDs, Ricky seems pretty normal to me. Ow! Oh, well, here goes nothing. You ready, Clover? Clover? Clover, you are not supposed to be listening to music. You were supposed to be playing it. Besides, I took Ricky's CD for evidence. Too bad, because I totally dig it. It's really infectious. Nice job lip syncing. Took me forever to get it right. You lip sync, Ricky? I don't like to, but Phil insists that I don't sing live. I guess I can't argue with success. So much for the theory about Ricky being normal. The guy doesn't even sing. It's not the only thing that isn't normal. Check that out, girls. What do you say we go grab a spy's eye view? Good idea. Clover, you coming? Are you crazy? I've got a killer view right here. <laughs> go for tomorrow's recording session, and I've prepared the, uh, special lyrics. Unfortunately, Ricky invited those pesky spies to come in. We'll have to keep tight security. Huh? Oh, oh uh, hey, 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 girls, what's wrong? Uh, aren't you having fun? Hey, I think I've gone deaf. <laughs> Actually, the booth is, uh, soundproof. The noise night after night gives me a, a headache. I prefer just to watch. <laughs> Ricky's fans are nuts, his CDs glow, he doesn't sing, and his manager sits in a soundproof booth during his shows. Getting freaky. What do you think, Clover? I think Ricky was incredible. I mean, he's so talented. I could just listen to him all night. Must wow. tell Ricky. Okay, this is weird. Maybe we should check it out with Jerry? Hello, ladies. I hope rock stardom hasn't gone to your heads. It hasn't so far, but if we keep getting showered with roses, it might. Oh, those. They were sent by one Damon Reynolds. Hey, Clover! The flowers are for you! Damon sent them! Please. Now that I'm involved with Ricky, I'm like so over Damon. Oh, man. How deluded can you get? Not to mention Fickle. So anyway, Jerry, what can you tell us about a Mr. Sebastian? Hmm, it says here he's the owner of Ricky Mathis's record label. Apparently, he used to be quite a successful guitar player before he lost his arm in a freak pyrotechnics accident. Ah! Now 
know he's an eccentric recluse producer who lives on a remote island off the coast of Brazuela. Ricky! So, who's ready to go to my recording studio in Brazuela? Wow! So I wonder what was up with that strange radio tower thing being strapped to the yacht. Well, Ricky says it's so they can broadcast the concert live. I don't buy it. Since when do you need guards to watch a satellite dish? This is definitely the creepiest recording studio I've ever seen. That was great, Ricky. Yeah, it was totally excellent. Uh, uh, now, why don't we lay down the lyrics? I'm Ricky and I'm your master. Follow me as I spread disaster. Take over the government, do as I say. I'll rule the world and you'll obey. Uh, Phil, I, I sort of didn't intend for the new song to be so... Aggressive? What happened to the lyrics I wrote? Ricky, trust me, I, I know what I'm doing. These new lyrics will give you a song that hip, edgy feel the kids are so wild about these days. Okay, I'd say those definitely fall under the special lyrics category. All the lyrics Ricky sings are special. <laughs> Maybe we should take this opportunity to do a little spying. I'm right behind you. I just love it when fashion has a purpose. Oh! <gasps> the secret laboratory's got to be around here somewhere. <gasps> nice work, Alex. Yeah, any time. <gasps> the new Ricky single is all finished. Excellent. The frequency has been successfully added. Good. Now let's see the effects firsthand. I take it the guy with the scary hook is Sebastian. And I take it he doesn't play guitar much these days. Have a seat. We want to know what you think of this new song. You're Ricky and you're my master. I'll follow you as you spread disaster. Take over the government, do as you say. You'll rule the world and I'll obey. You're dismissed. You're Ricky and you're my master. I'll follow you as you spread disaster. Did you see that? It's like, it's like Ricky's song hypnotized that guy or something. The frequency they were talking about must be some kind of subliminal mind control device. That would explain why Clover's been acting so crazy. Huh? Think about it. Ricky's first song, Rock Legend, is about rock star worship. And what does it do? It hypnotizes listeners into worshiping him. They do whatever the lyrics tell them to. So that means if Ricky performs at the concert, the fans will do whatever the lyrics say. Security, we have intruders. Ah! Run! Nice gadget. What was that, a portable high viscosity oil cannon? That was no gadget. That was my favorite moose. Expensive, too. Quick, we can scale down the wall. are really spies. How totally lame and unimaginative. Don't blame us. Jerry thought of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you'll never have a chance to report what you've learned, because in approximately 20 seconds, the only thing you'll be interested in will be the worshipping of Ricky Mathis. Which means that tonight you won't mind when I jam all the radio, TV, and internet signals around the globe. Nor will it bother you when I take control of the world with my newly hypnotized slaves, because you will be two of them. Enjoy your last moments of free will.
guys doing here? You're supposed to be out there playing. Well, we would be, except your good friends Phil and Sebastian decided to lock us in a recording booth and use a hypnotic version of your new song to try to turn us into zombies. Alex, fill him in. I gotta get to that radio tower. Now let's go watch the fireworks.
from mundane to ridiculous. We can't even get ready for our trip without Jerry bugging us. Tell me about it. That man is the absolute worst. We should definitely give him a piece of our minds. I totally agree. It's high time we put our feet down. <gasps> <gasps> lives. Yeah, and no more treating us like little girls. Do I make myself cl cl clear? Crystal clear. Hello, girls. I'm Max Smith, your new Whoop Guardian. You're our new guardian? W what happened to Jerry? Jerry decided after 35 wonderful years with Whoop that it was time he worked on his golf game. He's retired. It's true, ladies, I have indeed retired. I am, however, confident that I've left you in very capable hands. Max should prove to be a fine replacement. So, does this mean we're never gonna see you again, Jer? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. I can't believe Jerry retired. It seems like just yesterday he was invading our privacy and majorly getting on our nerves. Well, we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted later, girls. Right now, I need you to gather around, because I have a really important mission for you. Great. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt just like Jerry. And the first thing you'll need for this mission is an official Whoop Platinum credit card. What did you just say? Platinum credit card? And that's right. Whoop gave me a couple of new cards this morning. Your first mission is to go shopping on the organization's dime. I know this fabulous new department store in Paris. Paris? But, but, but what about our gadgets? Jerry always gives us gadgets. Okay, here's the parasol crossbow, 
the backpack jetpack, the crime scene scanner watch, the tornado in a can of hairspray, and a tube of immobilizing stun tan lotion. Have fun. <laughs> It's official. Max, the best. The total ultimate coolest. You can say that again. But he's also so cool and smart. I'm gonna call Jerry to see what he might like for a retirement gift. Hey, Jer, it's Alex. Just wondering what you might like as a retirement... Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. Rude much? Don't worry about it. Yeah! Jerry's loss is totally our gain. Maybe I'll buy a gift for Mac. After all, a little generosity could go a long way. What the? purchasing power than I was looking for. We better get back to Whoop and tell Mac what happened. Nice suit. Whoa, back so soon? Yeah, we uh, had a little problem with the credit card. Not that we didn't totally appreciate you giving it to us. What? Was it declined or something? No, it attacked us with its whirling saw blades of death. We barely made it out of the store alive. Um, for you. Sorry I didn't have time to get it gift wrapped. Ah, oh, you girls can't be serious. Unfortunately, we are serious. And so is the $200,000 bill for damages you'll be receiving from the department store. Doesn't it even bother you that we were almost shredded by a killer credit card? Alex, Mac is a seasoned agent. He's probably been in so many dangerous situations, stuff like this doesn't even phase him. Girls, I apologize. You've got to let me make this up to you. How about a cliff diving adventure in Acapulco? I think we've had enough international excitement for one day. Well, then the least I can do is offer you a ride home in style. Take my brand new Turbo Titan 3000 XT. Just bought it yesterday. Still has that new car smell. Wow. <laughs> well, if you insist. of function, Alex. It's a question of fashion. Whoa! Whoa, I guess this car really is the bomb. I wonder what could have caused this. I think the question is who could have caused this. Huh? Bingo! What is it? A fingerprint. A fingerprint that belongs to a criminal named Tim Scam. Man, his rap sheet's longer than Clover's list of past boyfriends. Well, almost. Uh-oh. We should warn Mac. I mean, first the evil credit card, and now this. I think this Tim guy's after him. Huh, there's no answer. Then I guess we better get to Whoop and warn him. And how exactly are we gonna do that? Yeah, in case you forgot, our ride exploded. Well, if we can't drive, huh? let's fly. Yeah! Where could he be? I don't know, but we should at least leave him a note. That says what? Mac, FYI, in addition to turning your credit card into a whirling blade of death, some psycho also blew your car into a billion pieces of scrap metal. By the way, let's do lunch. drawing of the evapoblaster and a file on Tim's scam. That's weird. Why would Mac have those? Unless he knows that Tim's scam is after him. We 
Wait a second. This is a Whoop employee file. That's impossible. That would mean that... Tim Scam used to work at Whoop. According to these records, he was a Whoop weapons technician 20 years ago. But it says here he was fired for illegal use of Whoop technology. What a creep! We better call Jerry. I'm sure he remembers Tim Scam. After all, he worked here for like 90 years. Jerry, you've got to help us. There's a crazy... Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. Trey uncouth. I mean, I don't care if he is retired. This is an emergency. Wait a second. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. I knew it. This isn't live. This is on a tape loop. A tape loop? Now, why would Jerry do that? He wouldn't, but someone else might. Someone like Tim Scam. <laughs> Hold it right there. Ah! It's him! Maybe we could use something in here to give him the slip. I get a ticket every time I drive my car. How am I supposed to drive any of these crazy things? How hard can this be to drive? with a missile guidance system. We're so happy it's you and not that crazy Tim Scam. Yeah, he's been chasing us all over Whoop, and he's after you too. Hmm, by the way, do you girls still have your stun tan lotion on you? Sure. So, what are we going to do about Tim Scam? Hey, did you know that your name backwards spells Tim Scam? Whoa, that is a weird coincidence. You're Tim Scam. Thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried that Tim Scam got to you. I need a deep tissue massage right this second. Make it too. Hey, where's that jerk, Max Smith or Tim Scam or whatever his name is? Forget about that jerk. Where are we? <gasps> Try to relax and enjoy the ride, girls. Why did you bring us out here? And what do you plan to do with that? Why, I'm going to use it to evaporate the entire Earth's water from the safety of my spaceship. I gotta say, even for a complete psycho like you, that's still a really crazy idea. Thank you. We read your Whoop file. We know all about your criminal past. Whoop never did appreciate me for the genius that I am. Drop the money! We've got you surrounded! I can't believe I actually thought 
you were cool. You seem so smart, but now I see you're just another immature, run-of-the-mill terrorist. We're like so over. Yeah, and you can just forget about your crazy little plan because you're going to have to deal with us first. Okay, you're dealt with. Oh, and while you're out there, tell Jerry I said hello. <laughs> so we could take Jerry's place and gain access to Whoop. We've got to get to Jerry before he runs out of oxygen. But how are we supposed to get over to him? Wait, I've got it. Great idea. What's your idea? I'm gonna use the tornado in a can to give us a little kick. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I guess I had the can turned the wrong way. Now take us back to the mothership. <laughs> right. It's a good thing there's no gravity out here or Jerry would be out of luck. Come on, Jerry. You've got at least a couple more years in you. Jerry's gonna be just fine. Come on! Where could he be? Judging by that floating ocean out there, I'd say he can't be far. We've got to find the Evapo Blaster and send that water back to Earth. <gasps> I've got your Evapo Blaster right here. We gotta get that water back to Earth. Let me out of here! So, we missed our snowboarding trip, but at least we saved the world. And we saved Jerry. I never thought I'd admit it, but I was really starting to miss that old go- I mean, <laughs> mature guy. Good evening, ladies. Just wanted to stop by and officially thank you for saving my life. Don't sweat it. After all, you saved our lives, too. Still, I did want to properly show my appreciation. And so, I'm sending you on a surprise ski trip to St. Moritz. Wow, thanks! Great! Cool! 
But first, I have a mission for you girls. I need you to train the entire Whoop Canine Division. That is, of course, after you do your homework and clean your rooms, and I've got some filing I need to have done. Not again! Jerry! <laughs> Professor John Paley, diary entry, Thursday, 0800 hours. I'm baffled. Every volcanologist considers this a dormant volcano. But if that's true, then why... <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> like the perfect end to our harshest mission yet. For sure, after what we've been through, school will be a breeze. Ugh, good thing tomorrow night is the big dance. I so need to unwind. Um, don't get back yet, girl. This afternoon is the track meet. And having you three on our team makes me glad I'm not. <gasps> the track meet, we forgot. <laughs> So glad you could drop in, ladies. Like we had a choice. Jerry, tell me you're kidding. I mean, we just got back from the most intense mission we ever had. We are white, trashed, tweet. Relax. How can we when you're about to send us on another mission? A mission to relax. You're no asset to whoop when you're stressed, so I'm sending you on vacation. Yeah. Let me guess. This is a bulletproof covering we use for escaping from a jungle prison. No, this is a towel you use for drying off after a swim. Aha! I bet this is a high-speed drill and a tube of blasting gel to blow out a wall. No, a beach umbrella and sunscreen to stop a sunburn. And before you ask, that's a nose clip for swimming. 
Oh, that's the gadget emergency kit. A precaution. You won't need it. Let me get this straight. You're sending us somewhere to have fun? How does Hawaii sound? Mm -hmm. Too good to be true. Alright, I have just one question. When does our flight leave? One minute. Just step in here. This elevator's kind of small. Does it take us right to our plane? Oh, there's no plane. A cruise missile is much faster. Bon voyage, ladies. Huh? <laughs> Jerry! from me. My name's Alex. Who are you? Corey. I came here to study volcanoes with my college professor, which is totally cool, because Hawaii is my ultimate fantasy trip. Really? Mine too! Excellent. Yeah, I love the food, the people, the music, though I'm not much at hula dancing. No? Well, my favorite dance is one you might never heard of. It's called the Tawalunga. Mine too! This is almost like destiny! Who's your favorite band? Oh, wow, that's tough. There's thousands to choose from, but I'd have to say my favorite is Ultra Loud, Loud Zone! Are you doing anything later? No. Professor Paley was supposed to bring me up to his camp at that dormant volcano, but he never showed. Hey, want to catch a wave? Sure. Hey, surfing is the only life for me. <laughs> Volcanic glass. Is there anything you don't know? 
Corey said his professor flaked out and never showed for his field trip to study that volcano. You're saying there's a connection between the missing volcano prop and Corey going up in smoke? I got a bad feeling about this. I'm calling Jerry. Jerry, this is Sam. Hello? Hello? Hello, Sam. Are you there? I don't need you. Sorry. Forget it. Your comp powder got wet. We'll try ours. Maybe there's something in the kit we can use. Computer spy manual. Type in volcano. Let's see what comes up. Whoop has a volcano research lab in Iceland. Maybe they can answer our questions. Iceland? Where it's, like, all icy? So? Corey needs our help. Alex is right, Clover. We have a duty to check this out. Hi! Julie, we have to get to Iceland. Oh, no problem. I'll arrange it. I swear she doesn't stop <gasps> Iceland dressed like this. Oh. Could we discuss this over a hot ground baby decaf soy latte? <laughs> Dr. Sorensen, we need to know if you've had any reports of volcanic eruptions in Hawaii. Yeah, we had one yesterday and one earlier today. Both were near a dormant volcano, so we assumed they were false alarms. If there were eruptions, we'd have heard from our volcanologist there, Professor Paley. Professor Paley? He's been missing since yesterday. And his mega-cute student, Corey, vanished earlier today. Now I know we have a bug in the system. You're sure the eruptions aren't real? My dear, if all of these volcanoes were to erupt at once, it would mean massive global destruction. So it's safe to go back to Hawaii? Well, if people are disappearing there, I wouldn't call it safe. You're not thinking of going back. Let's try this again, from the top. 
Myself. Every volcano on Earth is starting to blow. We have to do something. Molten lava is about to cover the world. Not to mention our hair. Alex, give me your nose clip. <laughs> Volcano was once an arch villain's hideout. Now I use it for our annual field test. You were testing us? Did we pass? Uh, no. The lava got you before you could save the world, so you all have to undergo retraining. Corey, you are in on this? My, my name is Maury, not, not, not Corey. So your favorite dance isn't the Tawalunga? Sorry, your beach bag was bugged. I don't even dance. What is this, Jerry? Extra credit? No, this is real. Great. We blow the track meet, I fall for a door, and now this. There's an actual volcano under your fake one, and it's erupting. <laughs> This is too ironic. Look out! 
with flying colors. Cool. Now, how about a real vacation? I've heard of guys being two-faced, but Mori was ridiculous. <sighs> Let's forget Hawaii and just enjoy the dance. I wonder what theme they picked. Shade of eyeshadow. Clover, we're not cruising the cosmetic counter at the mall. This is a science lab, and I want to get an A. Well, here's something that's sure to rate an A plus on the social scale. Cool, a Halloween party with a costume contest. And a first place cash prize worth three totally cool outfits from the mall. <gasps> I hate to squash your hopes, girls, but I'll be winning that contest hands down. Not with that costume, you won't. Excuse me? What costume? Oh, aren't you dressed as a wannabe teen queen today? Or were they having a sale on so two years ago at the mall? <laughs> Alex, quick! Hello. That must have been a real blast. Now let's get started. A renowned scientist was abducted from a US military lab late last night. Where'd that weirdo in the hood come from? That has yet to be determined. The scientist's kidnapping is the third in a string of strange abductions. Who else was kidnapped? A military general and a surveillance expert, all from the same facility. Dear, the girls and I are in a bit of a rush to get to the mall and scam some great Halloween costumes. Can we skip the details and get right to the part about the mission thingy? Very well. Figure out how and why this hooded horseman is abducting these military experts. Then, stop him. So much for the costume contest. Yeah, Clover, looks like we'll have to put our dreams of beating Mandy on pause. I can multitask. Inside, you'll find your gadgets. Pogo bounce sandals, laser heat curling irons, all weather umbrellas, head for cover hoverboards, a mighty fine expendable mascara brush, and last but not least, cat fight gloves with retractable claws. 
Oh, now there's a gadget made for Mandy. Don't forget to say Geronimo. Geronimo? For the past year, our team has been perfecting a high-tech, cutting-edge laser beam for the military. It's an electronic nullification device, otherwise known as the end. Cool. I mean, how interesting. We've examined the surveillance tape. It appears whoever took your colleague took the end as well. Well, if it's the end they were after, then they're going to be mighty disappointed. The end can only be controlled by this detonator. Without it, the end is useless. <laughs> in Beverly Hills anymore. Huh? Oh no, you don't think we're in the valley? <gasps> you guys, he's getting away! <laughs> Witches. Huh? Hey, hey, we're not witches! We're from Beverly Hills! Tis our duty to our beloved king to rid the Empire of evil witches. We are not familiar with these hills of which you speak. <laughs> <laughs> Planned. At least we lost those goons. <laughs> now let's use our pogo bounce sandals to get out of here and find Clover. <laughs> What? Wait a second. A hooded horseman? Talk of witches? And a group of people who've never heard of Beverly Hills? <sighs> of course! We're stuck in the Middle Ages! Oh, my. Jerry, how are we gonna get back? We don't even know how we got here. I'm working on it, Clover. Please hurry, Jerry. We want out of this Dungeons & Dragons nightmare ASAP. Clover, are you there? I can't hear you. Jerry, wait! supposed to be at a Halloween party tonight, and there's a big difference between fashionably late and M.I.A. Giddy up! Uh-oh. Where's a girl's knight in shiny armor when she needs one?
Did you really expect to get away with stealing from our beloved king? I've never stolen anything! Except maybe second base and co-ed baseball! Did you and thief will not be tolerated in his kingdom. Why do I get the feeling this is only gonna get worse? Clover's having more luck than we are. Must be one of those high-tech dungeons. <gasps> what the? and intelligent. When I become king, you'll make a great queen. Queen? Yes. You see, I come from a royal lineage of kings, and thanks to a goody-goody king from the Middle Ages, my family lost their throne and their wealth. Look, I'm sorry to hear that, but... I don't need your pity, because with a couple of crystals and some groundbreaking weapons, I've come back from the future to knock him off his throne and change the course of history. You will be my queen. Ew. Okay, now you're starting to get all kinds of creepy. What are you doing? I'm going to use the end. You destroy the king's castle. You claim my destiny. And then... <laughs> take over the world. Whatever. follow you. Yeah, whatever, pal. Just hand over the crown or I'll toast you. Um, if you're done with me, I'll be leaving now. <laughs> Guards! Take him to the dungeon and move my equipment and the others to our new home. Not so fast, Queenie. I have a more fitting prison for you. We 
might not have a glowing protection shield, but these should do. Gotcha! <laughs> That dress looks lovely on you. It looks like something from the bargain bin. <laughs> and it smells like it too. You're gonna need to lose the attitude, babe. My queen is all about obedience. Perfect. You're never gonna get away with ruling this kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom? With these weapons, I'm gonna rule the entire world. And when I get back to the future, I'll be worth billions. <laughs> are harder to walk in than my six-inch platforms. Oopsie. <laughs> silk tapestries and eat peacock. How gross is that? I'm guessing he's got an even more despicable plan up his sleeve. Believe me, he does. He wants to make me his queen. And? And he's using crystals to time travel back to the past and change it so he can go back to the present and take over the world. So, what do we do to stop him? Apparently, his crystals control everything. If we can get to them and destroy his equipment, he's toasted. Let's see what Jerry thinks. The number's no longer in service. What? Jerry's gone, uh, and Whoop's gone too. If Whoop's gone, that means when the horseman changed the past, it triggered a chain reaction and changed the future. Oh no, that means Beverly Hills doesn't exist anymore either. We've got to change it back. Otherwise, I've got no chance of beating Mandy in that Halloween contest. You really can multitask. Let's go, we've no time to lose. the trick. They make this look a lot easier on TV. Got it! Make sure you get the end. Where is it? Century, or any other for that matter, the crown is back where it belongs. Halt! These girls are not witches! The crystals, Clover! Use the crystals! Normal. And the case is solved. Well 
done, spies. I wonder if I'll ever get to see that cute king again. And second place goes to Arno. That's the periodic table of elements. Get ready for next. And first place goes to Mandy as a Beverly Hills style witch. Judges? No one likes a sore loser, Clover. And face it, your costumes just aren't authentic enough. Forget it, Clover. These two Mandy clones know nothing about authenticity. Could this day get any worse? Actually, I think it just got a whole lot better. Wow! Hey, wanna dance? I'd love to. Clover. How would you love to give me a ride home? I can't. Gotta go to the mall. Nice skirt. Hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> I gotta get my kid sister a birthday present today. <laughs> kid sister? I bet his kid sister wouldn't wear something like this. My mom wouldn't wear something like that. Maybe you should just be yourself, Clover. Be myself? Hello. Rick's a senior, as in he's used to sophisticated women. Yeah, but if a person doesn't like you for who you are... You guys, we're in the spy business. Reinventing ourselves is what we do. <laughs> Girls, we have a worldwide problem on our hands. Vital members of society have stopped doing their jobs. They're only interested in playing toys. Toys? You're kidding, right? Unfortunately, I'm quite serious. Whoa! This chaos will turn into pandemonium unless we nip it in the bud. 
And so, your mission is to go undercover as buyers. Finally! A mission I can relate to. As we speak, there's a toy fair going on in Taiwan. Perhaps you can find a clue there as to who's behind this bizarre phenomenon. I have assembled some gadgets for you. There's the Magna Belt. Huh? Yeah, that's a little too Elvis for me. The TAD, or tracking accessory device. It can be activated by your compounders. Infrared heat detector glasses. The manicure kit with press-on sticky fingers and laser nail file. Oh, does it have cherry blossom red in it? And electric blue. Perfect. Ah! And lastly, the ejector bead bracelet. Oh, careful with that one. It's still in development. By the way, I like your new look, Lola. Very sophisticated. My mother has a suit just like it. <laughs> This is our big debut. I see. Why don't you take some toys, ladies? Hey! What? Go on, open them. You'll see their appeal instantly. Really? Maybe later. Right now we need to make a phone call. <laughs> while we're waiting to hear from Jerry. Better yet, let's go over how I'm going to impress Rick while we're stuck in stupid Taiwan. Taiwan's not stupid, Clover. It's exotic and interesting. Good angle. Why didn't I think of that? Hi, Rick. It's Clover. Oh, nothing much. I'm just calling from exotic and interesting Taiwan. Ooh, that was fast. Huh? Jerry says there's no record of a Vladimir Kozirev company anywhere. Hey. Somebody has to be making these toys. <laughs> Sam, are you okay? <laughs> <gasps> Rick, I'm going to have to call you back. This is so sixth grade. Yeah, Sammy, cut it out. Make me. Lady, or you're going to your room, huh? <sighs> we better tell Jerry what's going on. Uh, 
Hi, Jerry. Oh, look, everyone, it's Clover. Red <laughs> Rover, Red Rover, send Clover over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not Jerry, too. We have to figure out what's up with these toys before Jerry and Sam and everyone else are stuck like this forever. inside.
The tag says Sam's in here. This is almost as big as your closet. adored my little Anne have grown up and forgotten the joy, the simplicity. They're only interested in high-tech gizmos and silly electronic toys. Uh, dude, I think she was talking about the outfit. Totally. Now, about this whole revenge thing, it won't bring back the little Anne. Of course it will. Adults across the world will be forced to remember the joy of the little Anne as soon as I regress them to the children they once were. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, can I go with you, please? Now, why can't you have an attitude like that? Up aboard, my little elf. No, Sam, Simon says no. You'll never get away with this!
Chloe's using them as an evil army. We're too late. Maybe not. What does Vladimir care about most in the world? Bell bottoms? The little Anne. His pride and joy. We've got to beat him at his own game. Oh! I don't get it. The old switcheroo! Don't you mean Barkaroo? Try to stay with me. We put the computer chip from the Barkaroo into the little Anne. It's so obvious he'll never suspect a thing. my mom now. Hey, Rick, are we still going to the street fair tonight? Sure, Mandy. <laughs> nice outfit. PTA meeting. <laughs> Excuse me, Professor. Could you tell me where the administration office is? 